This is the Redivis A1, and this is the best radio under 100 bucks that you can buy. It's got USB-C charging, it's waterproof, has built-in GPS, 999 channels, and a bigger battery than the Baofeng. Best of all, it's only 60 bucks. So let's take a closer look. The chances are, if you're watching this video, you already own a Baofeng UV5R in some sort of configuration. I'm not going to bash this radio. I obviously own a couple of them, but I really believe that the A1 is superior to the Baofeng in many, many ways. We'll talk about pricing as we go along, but let's talk about features and comparisons first. So in the box with the A1, you get programming cable, which is sort of optional with the Baofeng, depending upon which package you buy. Instruction manual, belt clip, base dock charger with USB-C, a USB-C cable, and a little adapter, USB adapter. However, if you look at the radio itself, if you take this cover off the side, there is a direct USB-C charger built into the radio. Now, I know that people will say that you can get an extended battery with a input on the side of the Baofeng to do USB charging. You got two problems with that. Number one, this it's an additional cost. Number two, it's an additional cable that you've got to keep track of. And it's also, you know, low power USB charging. So with USB-C built into the radio itself, I don't have to carry around anything else. This weird, you know, pin adapter to USB-B that you know is proprietary and if you lose it then you're kind of screwed. So that eliminates you know the weirdness of having a, a, a specialty cable. Direct USB-C charging obviously means that you, if you have a folding solar panel like this, I can plug my radio straight into it and charge it in the field. So in a camping scenario, camping, hiking, backpacking, or an emergency scenario, I can recharge my radio straight with this little folding solar panel and have a standard USB-C cable that I use to connect them, not that proprietary one like what's on the Baofeng. So, I mean, these are about $30. So now I can have a nice tight little package to recharge my radio anywhere. Let's talk battery life for a second. The A1 stock battery is 2200 milliamp hours. The standard battery on a Baofeng is 18 to 21, so depending upon which version and which age you get, the A1's battery will be either a little bit bigger or quite a bit bigger. Now, to be fair, the extended life Baofeng battery is 3800 milliamp hours, so that's a fair amount bigger than the A1's battery, but again, we're looking at an additional cost of 15 to 20 dollars depending upon you know where you get it from and what package so if you put these two things together we're already approaching the price of the stock a1 let's talk build quality uh, depending upon your opinion the uh, baofeng's build quality is either moderate to fair whereas the redivis has uh, waterproof and we'll do some testing a little later uh, up to three feet for like 10 minutes and just picking it up and feeling it, the buttons are a lot stiffer, the gaskets are a lot better. It's just got an overall better quality feel than the Baofeng. It's a, just slightly bigger, which just makes it a little easier to hold in your hand. And I like that the, the edges are rounded and, and smoother on the A1. Channel presets for saving memories. Baofeng is limited to 128. Redivis has got 999 so you've got uh, a lot more capacity in here for saving repeaters uh, and other simplex frequencies in the Redivis than the Baofeng. GPS it's not going to work inside but you've got a built-in GPS receiver in the top of the radio it will show you latitude longitude and altitude with a little compass built in. That is super cool and that's a feature typically reserved for really high-end DMR and APRS radios. Uh, you can actually send, if you have two of these, if you have two A1s, you can actually send your coordinates to another person. 
So if you got a group of people and you're hiking and you get separated, you get lost, you can send your location to another person. That is a really neat advanced feature that you're not going to find at this price point. It, it's not APRS for you true ham guys out there. It's not APRS. It's, it's something else. But that's really, really, really neat. FCC certified VHF and UHF. And I have verified the power output on this thing. Um, it's locked to ham bands, but you can unlock it. Check the information later. It has AM, FM radio, and even AM aircraft band. So if you like to listen to aircraft, uh, you can do that here. That is an incredibly unique feature that low-end radios just don't have. You have to get into a ham radio to, to be able to pick up aircraft AM. That's really, really unique. Standard SMA female antenna. So you can use all your accessory antennas you have with Baofeng. With this, a roll-up J-pole is a... Highly preferred, in my opinion. They work really, really, really well. That's a roll-up J-pole, and that's an SMA to BNC adapter. So I could just fit that on there and hook my roll-up antenna onto the top and then throw this up into a tree with some cord and some fish weights and extend my range. This is a fantastic setup right here. And the final question that everyone's going to ask is, does it work on Chirp, and do you program through the USB port? So, no and no. As I showed earlier, there's a programming cable that goes into the headphone microphone jack, and it is not currently supported on Chirp. Chirp is run by volunteers, so they add stuff as they can. However, the programming software for this radio is free on their website, and I'll link it down below. And if you've ever used Chirp, it's pretty similar. You know, you put in your primary frequency, your offset, and your channel name. Um, it won't be a, a big stretch or a big learning curve to learn how to use the program software if, you've, you've, if you have used Chirp before. So in summary, if you look at the features that you are getting versus the price, I really don't think that there's any comparison. At $59 with the bigger battery, with the USB charging, the waterproofability, um, the higher frequency count, you can get most of some of you can get some of those things with additional accessories from the Baofeng, but you gotta pay extra for them. So to get the bigger battery, you know, on this, you're gonna pay an extra $20 on top of the cost of the radio. So you're already a, approaching a, a, the final cost of what this is, but you get all those other features like the GPS, the higher frequency count, the better durability. So you're getting a lot more bang for your buck uh, built in with this radio than with buying a Baofeng and buying all the accessories for it. Since the antenna port is the same, if you have a signal stick or something like that, you can use it on this radio and you gain the features of being able to send GPS uh, back and forth to your friends. So I think this is a great, great, great radio. And if you're just looking at starting out, if you're looking to upgrade to something a little higher quality, take a look at the Redivis A1. I'm really, really, really impressed. Thanks, and if you enjoyed this, put a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks.